Good day everyone, we are doing accounting, accounting grade 12 and this exam paper is November 2021, November 2021, question 4 and our question 4 is inventories, inventories. And there is also some fixed assets in this question. It's inventories and fixed assets. 40 marks, 30 minutes. 4.1 inventories. Justin Footwear PTY LTD sells one brand. Sells one brand of running shoes. The business uses the weighted average method to value these shoes and the periodic inventory system is used. Calculate the following on 28 February 2021, the financial year end, 7 marks. We, the first one, 4.1.1, we want to calculate the value of the closing stock. And we are told that this business uses the weighted average method. So we want to calculate the value of the closing stock. Right, information, the following information relates to the running shoes. We are on page 12 in your question paper. Right, A, balances, 1st March 2022, the quantity is 206 and 28 February 2021 is 420. So the closing stock is 420. We have 420 units in the closing stock and we want to calculate the value of the 420 units. And if we are using the weighted average method, so it means we need to come up with the weighted average price the weighted average price. We need to calculate the weighted average price, which is total cost over number of units. So the total cost, you will have your opening stock here, which is 1,090 plus your purchases of 2,236,000 700 it's 2,236,700 and you also have your carriage on purchases your carriage on purchases it is set there a fixed cost of 25 rand per unit is paid for each pair of running shoes so how many units were purchased you go to B purchases the total number of items is 2490 so 25 multiply by 2490 25 multiply by 2490 equals to 62250 carriage on purchases is 62250 and then we also have the returns here we are told 60 pairs of running shoes were returned from the September 2020 purchase. A refund of the cost price was received from the supplier, but the carriage on purchases was not refunded. So carriage on purchases was not refunded. So it's 60 pairs of running shoes. So that will be 60 from the September stock. If you look at the September stock, the cost price for September stock is 900 rands. So that will be 60 multiplied by 900 equals to 54,000. Our returns is 54,000 rands. 60 from the September stock. Over the total number of units. The total number of units in the opening stock we had 206. We had 206 in the opening stock. 206 plus 2,490 that was purchased, purchases minus 60 that was returned. So let us then calculate the weighted average price. We have 101,090, 101,090 plus that's two, Three six. I'm checking in the question paper to make sure the amount is correct. Two million two hundred and thirty six thousand seven hundred. That's plus two million two hundred and thirty six thousand seven hundred. Two million two hundred and thirty six thousand seven hundred plus sixty two thousand two hundred and fifty. 
250 minus 54,000 equals to 2,346,040. 2,346,040 2 over 2,346,040 over 206 plus 2,490 minus 60. That's 2,636. 2,636 equals to, okay, we the space here, right, we have 2,346, 2,346,040, 2,346,040, Divided by 2,636 equals to 890. The weighted average price is 890. And we have 420 units in the closing stock. 420 units multiplied by 890 equals to. That's 890 multiplied by 420 equals to. 373,800. Our value of the closing stock is 373,800. 420 multiplied by 890 by 890 equals to 373,800. That's how we calculate the value of the closing stock using the weighted average method. Total cost of the number of units. Right. And then the second one, 4.1.2, is stock turnover rate. 4.1.2, stock turnover rate. The stock turnover rate. We want to calculate the stock turnover rate, which is cost of sales. Let's just calculate it using units. Let's use units, the stock turnover rate. So we have the cost of sales. Sales, that is information E. So the number of units that was sold is 2,216. That's the number of units that was sold over the average stock. The average stock will be your 206, your 206 plus, that is opening stock plus your closing stock of 420 and you divide all this by two. So let's then calculate this. We have equal to, we have your 2216 over, that's 2216, yeah, that's the correct, I'm at 2216 over 206 plus 420 equal to and divide by 2. Average stock is 313 equal to, right, 313, 2216 divided by 313 equal to 7.07 .07. so that can be just 7.1 times so the stock turnover rate will be 7.1 times you can calculate the stock turnover rate using the units or you can also calculate the stock turnover rate using the total amount so in this case the easiest one is calculating it using units because we must always go for the fastest route which will save time remember the main challenge when you are writing the accounting is when the students will not finish the paper so we need to make sure that whenever we are writing we are able to finish the paper on time all right 4.1.3 4.1.3 Justin Pty Ltd. That's on page 13. Justin Pty Ltd. trades in three types of footwear. They trade in three types of footwear. The table below indicates the overall performance for the year. The directors are satisfied with the management of running shoes, but not with the boots and sandals. The boots are imported. Let's look at the answer sheet so that we are able to draw. Let's draw the answer sheet. We have a table here. We have boots and we also have sandals.
just a comment on stock turnover rates stock turnover rates and then and then the major problem comment str that is stock turnover rates so that's how the answer sheet looks like right the directors are satisfied with the management of the running shoes but not with the boots and sandals the boots are imported from justin pty ltd is the only business in town selling these boots the sandals are locally made and all competitors sell them at 480 each comment on the stock turnover rate for boots and sandals and identify the major problem relating to each product code figures so let's look at the let's start by commenting on the stock turnover rate for boots let's look at the boots the stock turnover rate for boots is two times the stock turnover rate is two times should that's every six months two times a year that's every six months So it's clear that they are not selling fast, not selling fast. So the boots are not selling fast because when we look at the stock turnover rate, we only order boots two times a year, that's every six months. And it's clear that they are not selling fast. And therefore we need to identify the major problem. Why are these boots not selling fast? Let's look at the information given. If you look at the selling price, the cost price is 1610 and the selling price for boots is 2900 and this business is making 80% markup profit. So 80% markup is too high. That's why they are not selling price. 80% markup percentage is too high. As a result, people are not affording to buy this boot. So if you look at uh, this information provided here, you can see that uh, this, 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 this price is unreasonable. The cost price is 1,610, and then the selling price is 2,900. So if this business wants to improve the, selling, the sales of boots, they have to consider decreasing the markup percentage because this is too high and is unreasonable that's the major problem that we have identified with regards to boots but if you look at the sandals the stock turnover rate the stock turnover rate how many times do we order the sandals per annum the stock turnover rate for sandals is 76 times so these are selling very fast which shows what they are in demand the sandals are in demand the sandals are selling very fast and we can see that the sandals are in demand how do we see that we uh, see it according when we look at our stock turnover rate the stock turnover rate is 76 times and what might be the major problem for these sandals if you are looking at the major problem the markup percentage is too low it's not a problem i think that is why these sandals are, are selling very fast because the markup percentage is only 33 and a dead percent so they are selling very fast because the price is reasonable if you look at the average cost price is 360 and then the selling price is 480 so these sandals are reasonable that is why people are buying them but the major problem that we have identified here if we are looking at these figures the orders received from customers orders received orders received is 15000 pairs but sales sales is 11400 pairs this is a problem the orders for the sandals that we have received is 15,000 pairs, but sales is only 11,400 pairs. So this is a problem. Not being able, not able to meet the 
the demand from customers. Not able, we are not meeting the demand, not able to meet the demand from customers. The orders that we have received is for 15,000 pairs, but the total sales is only 11,000 pairs. So we need to make sure that we have enough stock that is available. Even if you look at the items on hand at year end, we are only left with 150 pairs. So you can see that these sandals are in demand and therefore we are not able to meet the demand. So we need to make sure that we have enough stock that is available so that we are able to meet our orders from the customers. So this is what, the, this is what we have identified. When we are commenting on the stock turnover rate, the stock turnover rate for puts is very bad it's not selling fast and the reason for that we are seeing that the markup is too high as a result the boots are expensive but with the sandals they are selling very very fast with the stock turnover rate of 76 times but the problem now because these are highly demanded by our customers the problem now is that we are not able to meet the demand from customers orders received is 15,000, but we only sold 11,400 right then let us then continue to 4.2